G'day guys. I am looking at the different types of platforms that you can use for different types of punching bags, spa bar, etc. So this week I've actually manufactured, well I didn't manufacture, I just made another type of platform using an MDF board and I've basically cut it out into a circle and I've put the flange in the middle. So I've got one of these actually set up down here, I made two of them and the width or, or the diameter of this is roughly two feet. It is light, you can just put it away. If you just want one platform, this is all you need, really, okay? In particular, if you're just making a reflex bag like this one, it is ideal because it just works. It is very stable. You only need two water containers like this to hold it down. They're only a couple of bucks in the supermarket. Easy peasy. Simple. Now, if you're going to have a spa bar, on the other hand, that's a little bit different because that needs a little bit of rigidity. And this doesn't provide for that because with my spa bar, I'm using these support legs that I've set up. And that gives my spa bar rigidity. So when I'm punching it, all right, it's fairly stable, it's rigid. It doesn't wobble too much. You need that for a spa bar. Similarly for the full punching bag, it's better to have a rigid platform. It allows me to smash this bag. All right, so there you go. That sort of extended or longer, I call it a dual base because I've got two bags on it, but it gives you rigidity. You can put more water containers on it and it allows you to set up these sort of supporting arms, which I've got in one of my videos. So there you go. That's a quick video to show you the difference. Now here are some of the ways you can use them. If you've got two of these platforms, you can actually join them together with a one foot long galvanized pipe and turn it into a nice little coffee table. Now there's one thing I've been dying to make and I absolutely love, and that is parallel bars. And finally, with all these different platforms, I'd be able to create a pair for myself to do upper body workouts, to strengthen the upper body and core. Oh, this is bloody awesome. Or how about a fully stabilized chin-up platform? Ideal for a great upper body workout. Now let me know if you want to see the full builds for any of this stuff and I'll see you guys next week.